Hello, and welcome back to my Vlad von Karstein campaign. We gotta go look at what we can do to win right now. Chaos, I mean, I don't have to worry about them anymore, but now that our United Threat is gone, every other faction will want to fight me. They'll want to come over here and punch me in the throat, which I'm not very keen on letting happen. I'm gonna have to watch out then. Hmm, new technology, I would like to have a stronger Vargulf. Fresh prey supply. That will do it, more armor, weapon strength. All right, let's go ahead and end our current turn. I don't have too much that I can do right now. I'm low on dark magic. I would like to make a lot more, but unfortunately, I'm paying for a lot of high tier armies. I might need to even downgrade one of them. Ah, oh, hello, a war, I bet. Yep, there we go. Middle thank you for joining me. I have other allies who will not be joining me. I probably should not have tried to call them in, but I did anyway to have one ally help me out. The other dwarf factions might come to fight me, which is really unfortunate. I'm not looking forward to that, but they probably were gonna break our alliance anyway. We shouldn't be getting along to begin with. I could try to retake Erengrad. That would give me more dark magic. Ah, uh, hello, Kislev. I got a little mod to add in skulls. I mean, I thought they would look pretty cool. I don't know how cool they actually look, though. Hmm. They might be okay. I've been into 40k a lot more lately. It's kind of weird. I was never really into 40k that much until, I don't know, the last few years, probably. It's probably all the tabletop RPG stuff that I like quite a bit. I've learned the majority of Warhammer Fantasy lore, and I know it a lot better. I don't know a lot of Space Marine lore. I know Imperial Guard, Inquisition, and all that for 40k. I know a lot about that. Death Watch, all of it. Okay, let's get ready now. We need to make sure that we have our towers shooting at them. If we do that, we can win. Yeah, I took a break from Warhammer for a little bit. I needed a break from Total War. I mean, I played it nonstop. Over 500 hours on Steam. I played it a lot. I've got... Hundreds of videos up, lore videos, I've got everything you could think of, and I know that you're meant to kind of like stay in your own little realm, your own little niche, but you know me. If I did that, I would have a lot more subs and views and people would be happier. They would be like, yeah, the Total War guy, but I like variety in my life. I can't help it. Even if I know another thing might be better for me. My bad. Okay, I want to go after that tower. I don't want that tower up here. It'll be too annoying. They're using magic here. I actually have a few cool multiplayer videos that are going up pretty soon, like one where I play a 3 versus 3, I play as Empire, and I've got two Chaos Allies, and we're fighting three Dwarf players, and it's really a, <laughs> a very violent battle. Alright, good, we're about to get one tower. We're going to fast forward it, because I mean, it's not really a major battle. But yeah, you need the aggressive AI mod for Total War Warhammer, or you'll be chasing armies all over the map. When I got that, the game became harder, they began to fight me one-on-one -on -one a lot more, Everything became crazy. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll go fight him on the wall. Come here, Gunda. Time for you to get batty. Ooh. He's about to get batty. Yeah, he's beginning to take damage. We're shooting down all their little friends, too. They can't break down the gatehouse. Well, they probably will eventually, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, I don't like that. I could go out there and fight them. Might have to. I don't want them to break through. If they do that, they could charge in. And then that would be bad. So if I come in through here and kind of just go beat them up, maybe I'll lose one unit, but they'll be outside of the gate holding for me. I like that idea. Not to mention we'll have towers shooting at them. I don't really need to play the battle out, do I? I don't believe I do. Not a great idea. But yeah, there's a bunch of mods out now that I've got to cover and play. If you guys want to see a lot more mod reviews, let me know. It's always good feedback to know what you would want to see and what you would not. Helps me out. I probably will be going through the original Dawn of War games too, the trilogy. But surreal, there's a fourth. No, there's not. I don't want to hear about it. But I probably will try it out with with a mod, the fourth game of the original Dawn of War games. Oh, Gander, you're dying, Gander. You can't do it, Gander. Yeah, they beat me up over here at the freaking gate. That's okay though. We're getting them, kind of. Uh oh, they're battering down the gate again. But I've gotten rid of majority of the chariots too. And Gunder's in trouble. He's fleeing now. He's like, oh no! Too many bats! And we're making him fall apart. Which makes me happy. Because chariots are going away. They're all falling apart. A few more to kill. Yeah, chariots are not fun. I believe I have a mod for composition of armies now too to kind of diminish that crap because you know how unfun that is to kind of have to deal with really bad compositions. Helps me win, but I've got all my spears over here. Yeah, chariots are kind of okay now. I kind of like them. Might use them a little bit more multiplayer. Give them a go. 
I don't know how Chaos Chariots are. I did try to gore beast once, and they're pretty effective. Like when you're going after archers. Okay, they are done for. Shoot a few more while they're fleeing. If we can kill even one more, that's always good. Yep, got one. Chariots are pretty cool. They're very large, very powerful. Hard to stop. We had one battle in multiplayer where we had one player use a bunch of chariots. Oh man, he had like an army of them. It was really ridiculous too. Oh yeah, and someone chose to play on a smaller unit size, which will give an advantage to spells and chariots. We thought that might have been intentional. I'll take your dark magic. You do not take his love. Good. Goodbye, Gondorak. Gondorak is gone. All right, we're gonna upgrade that to tier three. We're gonna pick up. I wouldn't mind having some walls. I do want more income, but I want more walls too. Walls can be pretty good. All right, what do I want to begin corrupting? I could go after the dwarf player. Why do you have anything bordering me? Let's go find out. Mm, nothing really. You're not going to combine. I could go over here and go after Karakadrin. I mean, that is right by me. That's where the majority of their armies are at. That's true. I'll have to begin moving over here then. I'm going to begin going after the dwarf player. I'll have to. I'll have to burn down Karakadrin. I might still go back and finish my old campaigns too, even though some people are like, ah, don't do that, it's boring, but I kind of have a need to finish. I don't know, I'll think about it. It really depends on what I have going on at the time. I'll be gone for five days, I'll be out of state for five days, so that'll be happening this month. I'll have videos <laughs> up each day. I don't know how many yet, but we'll find out. There's Karant Kundrin. Where's Bachafin over here? Bachafin has got to rebuild, which will take time. Vlad will go over here. Yeah, the skulls are okay. I don't know what they mean yet. I don't know what they mean yet. Hmm. Gold skull. So like a bronze, silver, and gold skull? Probably. Yeah. One, two, three. Over here. One, two, three. Over here. Ah! I get the concept. I'm not sure how, how much I like it, though. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll get used to it. I'll give it a go. Way too tiny to kind of know what they have, though. Can I? Okay, Helmand Gorst. I could have you chase after whoever. We could go after Erengrad. We could go over here to Kislev again. Kislev's going to need a bit of help. And they'll need to make me more money. There's a Von Karstein. I'm not going after Erengrad right now. We've got plenty of walls. I need Norden back. Yes. I want a little bit of help over there. It's going to end our current turn. We had our original battle. Nothing too crazy, but an original battle. Karaza Karak. I would like to add, though, that a lot of my videos are, like, one hour long. So, I mean, even if I don't upload, they're not 20 minutes long or 30 minutes long. They're one hour long. It's pretty long. I'm going to put up multiple clips a day. I think that's rather encompassing in content. I've been reading a lot of 40K books, but only really by Dan Abnett. I'm really picky about... I would prefer a writer who writes to write a good story and narrative and to have interesting characters. When a writer kind of just writes for bolter porn, you know, like Chainsword and bolter battle pulp I'm not really interested in that I understand the goal of it but if I'm picturing tabletop battles playing out like blocks of soldiers going at each other you're not doing a good job articulating the idea of a of a battle playing out okay but to let you know I've been reading the Eisenhorn trilogy by Dan Abnett I'm on book one still been reading that for a while chapter 24 I think right now got a lot more to read okay they're coming after me. Look at them go. Oh, I thought you were fighting me. Oh, right. There's an agent right by you. My bad. Oh, hi there. Goodbye there. They're gone now. Got a new shield. We'll go back to Kislev. I'm going to need more walls eventually. Here's Vlad von Karstein. Who can I go after right now? I've got Nicholas over here can't really go out to go fight that other army. I would like to. More friggin' the chariots everywhere. Ah, uh, They ain't gonna be so. Alright, let's get everyone over here because I want to begin corrupting everything about corrupt Kadrin. If I get all my agents down here, oh yeah, we can begin to corrupt. We can begin to go after agents, whatever we want to do. Oh, hey, Vlad. I brought you out. My bad. <laughs> we could even begin to raid there and just really begin corruption. Ooh, that would make people very... Oh, hold on. Don't I have a mission? <gasps> I do. Oh my. Where's that at? Alright, way down here. I'll need gold to teleport him. And I need a new group for 
Helmet Gorst. Liber Noctis. I'll get that going for him eventually. Yeah. Turn that turn. I'm very low on dark magic, so that, that can be rather difficult for me right now. The Grand Duchy of Midland, Barak Bar, Krak Hern, Krakajun, Juf Bar. It's like all dwarf factions who have survived the war, man. The humans are all broken, and you got the dwarves going, yes! Just being happy. Oh, even they're fighting me now. Lovely. Everyone would like a piece of my pie now. My undead maggoty pie. Alright, hold on. Where are we going now? Who do I need to kill now? They fell apart. They're now a um, migratory faction again. How bad for them. Fort Jacoba will complete me. I do kind of have the gold for it. If anyone attacks me, though, that would be a nightmare. We do have corruption there to help me out. I could have Vlad move up from below. We could block that army, potentially. Get Ek. I do hate Ek. He's pretty Ecky. There's a lot of them over here, too. Oh, yeah, a lot of armies. A relatively full one, too. Their corruption is really going down now that we've defeated Chaos. Man, I remember getting mad. I was... I think I had a little bit much to drink one night. I was like, you know what? I'm going to record me some Total Waro. And I did, and I was mad the whole time. Damn, chaos! <laughs> I got pretty crazy. All right. I was, like, really tired and really drunk, and it was just a night. All right. It was just a night. <laughs> it's okay, though. We're getting to it. We're going to come down here and defeat some dwarf friends, former dwarf friends. I'll have to corrupt everything about their lands and kill them all. Like, I'll wreck the bloody. Look at that. They're all trying to betray me. All of them! Which means I'll have to kill them all. Even you, Bretonia. I spit on you. For sure. I do. I really do. There's the Varg again. What do they want now? Ooh. More prey. There's Austin Berg. Alright, we can do it now. Oh, I thought we could. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Tiny army. Nothing major. Give me dark magic. And goodbye, Ek. Okay, you leveled up 16. You have a majority of the skills I want you to have. You have Arcane Conduit. Morbid Reunion. Okay, Vlad, you have your stuff going on. Now we're coming down here now to go after a few of their agents. I don't want them all over here partying with me. Yeah, we'll begin to get rid of them. I might just deploy them for a time. That way I'm not having to spend too much of my money on that. Yeah, look at that corruption go up finally. Chaos Corruption is really going down. I don't have to worry about that as much. That's really going down, which means that I can only spread Corruption. That's all I need to worry about now. A few locations have stabilized nearby, though. Hmm. That'll make it very hard for me to traverse. Okay. Nicholas, I don't know what you're going to do yet. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with you. All right. My Vargos are stronger, fueled by fear. That's for a Terra guy, so I like that idea. Five turns for that one. Richard the Undying. Very powerful White King. A very spooky and ethereal unit he is. Well, solid, made of, you know, bone. But bound by magic. At times I want to play a Necromancer in, like, Elder Scrolls V or something fun like that. I've always enjoyed Necromancy in games. What do you want? Oh, the Varg want a piece treaty. Heck yeah. Leave me alone. If they leave me alone, they can have whatever they want. I'm doing my own thing. They can go fight other people. That's a Jagged Horn tribe. Scalings are over here. You seek a pact with Dude, I've beaten you. You're destroyer and unreliable. I mean, I, I get that, but you could just leave me alone. Oh, crap. What do you got? Yeah, they've got a tougher army. That's going to make it much harder for me to beat them. It's going up. I mean, if they want me to keep beating them, I can keep beating them. I've got to keep on maneuvering around while I try to do that. 
All right, can I go over here and begin to... Oh, I can. I want to begin to raid, make a little bit more income. But I guess I do need to keep on trying to go after their agents right now with my Banshees. At the very least, the remainder can do their own thing. There we go. How's that corruption going? Not as much as I had thought. Hmm. Mm, it's okay. It's all right. But I was going to hoping for more corruption. Is every location I own happy? Currently, yeah. Let's go over here and do our thing. We are not yet done. Yeah, I'm going to have Vlad go fight them all probably. Oh, look at that. They're getting angrier with me. Even you, Jufar. A war, maybe? Oh, yeah, they're all ending it. Piece by piece, they're going to begin attacking me. Unfortunately, defensively, I'm not as potent. Ah, oh, crap. Here we go again. Now, that's an army that can beat me. The previous ones, maybe not, but they might actually take his love. Damn skull takers. I've got to destroy them. I do wish they would fight a little bit more internally. I mean, the dwarfs uniting, logical. But orcs fighting me too for this, I don't know, the hell of it. Well, I don't know. That might be very orky, probably. Okay, you'll be over here for your stuff. You'll be over here for your stuff. And we'll just kill whoever comes our way. Okay, you'll be over here. You'll be over here. You'll be there, and you'll be here, and you'll be flying in the air. Okay, towers are going to do their thing now. Come on, get a tower. Get two of them. Savage Orcs will easily destroy us if we don't actually get them. I don't think we will, though. Not in time. Oh, we got one. Oh, never mind. We got them. Cool. I didn't think we would get it, but we did. We got every tower, but now they're only using ladders to get up. Great. Oh. We're shooting them. Let's go get their leader. Screw that leader! Yeah, Siege of Battles are pretty trivial. I will admit that. They are very trivial in this game. Nothing miraculous to talk about, really. Okay, that's gonna over here doing their own thing okay that's cool I guess I'm trying to go after their leader though if we can kill him which we can do something to him we're doing something to him <laughs> let's go through their archers now if we can just break them somehow that would be great how weak is he he's routing I don't know if he's gonna be gone for good he's not shattered but he's routing actually this might be too tough I'm just gonna have him go after the leader then yeah he's coming back or he might come back just need to outlast them and try to keep on beating down as many as we can. They're going to be pretty weak by the time they get up here. Okay, the arrows are up here. Still shooting them with our everything. Over here, they're going to beat us down. I mean, there's no way we can beat it. Let's go check it out real quick in case you guys are wondering what it looks like to watch them fight. There they go. Go check it out real quick. Yeah, they're marching in now. Got rid of one enemy, but there's way too many more for me to worry about. Way too many that are way too strong for me to handle. Otherwise, I would handle them. As I want to. Okay, we killed many, but they want it. They definitely want it now. Let's go over here and kill a few more. Might as well go kill a few while we're here. Still killing archers, so we're gonna wait over here and fight them. They're beginning to capture my HQ. Still going after their leader. Slaga like crack tooth. I mean if you look at it, they did drop a lot. They're a strong group. Not the fundamental large battle I wanted. We'll probably have large battles eventually, but you know how that works. Like we have to set up for a little while before we can actually have a large battle. We gotta like get ready. We got to prep up for a new great war. Losing case life is kind of a mm, annoying thing. I might have to actually get rid of one army for now. Or, you know, the more expensive parts of it. I might have to have a cheaper army for a little while. Can't afford too much elite stuff. OK, 
Okay. We got those. Only a few more to worry about. I mean, they only have a little over 500. How much further could they get with their current numbers right now? After they burn down the location, they'll probably raise it to the ground, which is weird. Or they might take it. Valiant defeat. They lost over 800, which is a lot. I mean, Tyrus did the majority of it. It's crazy because, I mean, like, beyond the Tyrus, you don't really have a defensive advantage in many ways. As you might in a normal field battle. I mean, when you're outnumbered, maybe. Yep, they burned it down. Hmm. I've got quite a bit to rebuild then. Alright, Hellman, go get him. Easy enough, right? What is that up here? All right, I'll give it to her. Give me dark magic, 535. Great. 2500. Dark magic gone. It's going to take a little bit to rebuild that, but eventually we will rebuild it. One for Jacobo as well. I'm only keeping my money up because I'm over here raiding, I think. Whoo, it's a crazy amount of units. I mean, I should be able to use my lightning strike to defeat a great number of them, but ooh, that is a lot. All right, that is actually a pretty big fight. Auto resolving would be easier. I've actually had a few people get very mad at me for not auto resolving, and it's funny. Now keep in mind, I understand these are different people, but I'm doing this for people who don't want to watch me easily win by just auto resolving. Clearly, there's a inherent problem with the balance of power whenever you depict it. Like right now, they outnumber me. I have a higher quality of unit, but they still do outnumber me. I would rather show you a very entertaining battle where I lose a lot of my army than a very simple one where I easily win by auto-resolving by clicking one button, battle over. Or I can play out the battle and have a good time. It's more of a good time in my own opinion. Cryptors are over here. The Claw or the Mortis engines over there. Okay, we'll get all of you in one group. You'll join group one. Keeping your formation, tie the zombies on what you and one flank to kind of bind things up. Be a little bit further out. There you go. Okay, you three will be in your own group. You two will be in your own group. You'll join in as well. Alright, I think we got it. Let's go fight them now. It's going to be pretty deadly. Pretty ugly. But that is alright. They have no health cannon for once, which is nice. It's kind of a nice change of pace for them not to all have a standard template where you can't just have a normal battle. Because, I mean, even in multiplayer battles, not everyone brings in artillery every battle. It should be a little bit more substantial with what we're trying to portray here. Come on now. Come on now. All right, I'm going to have my Vargolfs move in. They're stronger, too, now with all the technology changing. Alright, my dire pack's now fighting. Let's go check it out real quick. Slow motion, just for a moment. We've got trolls on the way. Zombies on the way to bind them up. I'm gonna go after them right now. Oh, these are chariots. I want these chariots gone, actually. Let's go after that. Cryptors, I want you over here. I want you guys over here. You two... Uh, actually... You'll go fight the trolls, too. They're only chaos trolls. They're not armored, but you'll go fight them as well. Engine, I'll have you come over here to go fight those trolls in the middle. You'll still be in the middle of our formation. We're not going to go after any extraneous units like that. Not for the entire fight. Okay, looks like we beat their hounds. Beautiful. Let's go over here now and fight a few more of them. Okay, here's my white king coming in to fight. Here's my lovely, lovely friend. Coming in to fight as well. More Cryptors also coming in to fight. Yeah, if I don't auto... Or not auto resolve, but if I don't actually slow motion at times, it can be rather hectic in trying to portray... Or to zoom in and show you the battle. Now we have more Cryptors in the battle. who are currently fighting more of their units, and we are defeating a great number of what they have right now. Let's go over here and clip that wing. We're destroying the trolls. I feel like the battles are even faster now, though. Like, the animations look pretty quick. I don't know. Okay, we are currently winning the fight. Yeah, they're hitting me from behind. I'm going to have to chase them for a little bit. I wanted to hit them from behind, but that's okay. We're getting them. 
All right, I want to show the battle for a little bit. It's going to be over too quick if I don't actually zoom in. It's a pretty big fight. I mean, these are untrained, unwashed masses who are currently fighting me. They have marauders who are effective. Pretty much only in single player. Multiplayer, you're not going to get very far with them. All right, I'm going to have my devils go in after that group. We've got another group coming after me, though. Oh, they've got a lot of trolls, too. Woohoo, that's a lot. Hold on, why are you locking up information like that? Weird. Let's get you over here. Let's get you over here. They're all fighting over here. My blood knights are going after various groups right now. My dire pack has it under control, I think. We'll go after more Chaos Marauders. I got my white king over here fighting who? Ah, uh, the chariots. Wow, still? Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, don't go after them. You'll come over here after the chariot group over here. They're hitting me from behind. I get that. We need to reform, though. A few locations because that cherry group, you got that. Let's bring you over here. We're trying to make sure that we can face the new group. They're throwing a few things at me, but it's okay. Okay, I think the majority of you have it under control. We gotta go in right now and take on the remainder of their army. The chariots are still running through. They're terrified, at least one group is. Yeah, I gotta get the chariots early on, or they can just kind of run behind your lines and do a lot of damage. A lot. Okay. Trolls are on the way. I might as well go after them. I mean, I have anti-large. Might as well take care of that right now. Yeah, we're killing them. They're not very happy about the battle. We are killing them. Okay, let's go over here now. Get you two over here right now. Okay, Devils, I want you to go after that Marauder group. That Marauder group. Who's fighting over here? Way too many of you are fighting in a stagnant battle. Do not do that. Okay, we won again. Let's move up. I can have you move over here to go after that guy, Stig Gunnarsson. And we've got a much bigger battle on the way. Vargas over here. We'll go after the Chaos Warhounds who have their own issues. Okay, we do have a nice buff. Gonna do our stuff real quick. Alright, I'm gonna heal up, I think, my Blood Knight group. We'll do that real quick. You're gonna have to Stig. The Stig. <laughs> well, I don't really care for their Marauders. I mean, they'll break eventually. I'm not too worried about them. Oh, here come the chariots from... Yeah, I told you. Look at that. Running amok from behind. There we go. Now they're running amok. That's pretty funny. Might as well use our potion now. Enemy lord is not dead. That's one dead enemy lord. Let's go to move up with my engine. Alright, let's go over here and kill a few of them. Let's go over here and start charging in a little bit. And I'll tell you when it. They are too freaked out. They cannot do anything else right now. What I would need to do, though... I would need to chase after them. And I can do a lot of that. Do a few trolls. Okay. We can fast forward now. If I was fighting one army, I probably wouldn't need a slow motion or to worry about zooming in. But two armies, yeah, I gotta be a little bit more proactive. But now we can just kind of destroy them all and heal up for a time. I can heal up my knights again. I'll use my own potion to replenish a bit. We've killed a lot of their soldiers already. I read 49. Still waiting to heal more. I love healing up my own soldiers. It makes me feel powerful. Let's try it again. And there we go. Even more blood knights are here. One injured enemy lord. Got a few more guys to go after. Barely any, actually. Okay, let's go help the other group of Blood Knights. Might as well keep them at full capacity. I like how they just kind of pop in with the new units again. It's like they butt asexually. Alright. We're going to end that fight. We lost 255. They lost a lot more. Battle over. My very elite army. 
I'll take your dark magic because I need a new way to get dark magic. Okay, they're gone. That group is now going to be gone. All right, we got a lot of them. Level 20, finally a terror guy, so we can do a lot of damage now by having that. Beautiful. Have I fully buffed you up? Nearly. You're going to be better at charging. Hold on. Let me give you that. I'll put three over here. Now you're much better at charging. Oh, it's going to be a lot better. We're going to instill a lot more terror into our foes. You have your steed. Now you have a barded one for more armor. You'll be even beefier. Oh, yeah. Finally. Wall the kid. Come, of course, is over here. Chilling out. What will I give you, lady? You're very strong. I think I'll give you... You got your health, Steve. That's good. Give you a bigger aura. Impact more of my units. That is another dead group. But Vlad is back. I wonder if they want to fight me yet. Oh, they are working on it. They're trying to break every treaty over time. They're getting mad. Probably because I'm on like a big road here going, Hey, I'm going to raid you. Give me dark magic. Or gold or whatever I use. Yeah, look at that. I'm going down even further with that. Yeah, I've destroyed the tribes up north. I mean, they're looking pretty bad right now. They are looking actually really bad. I'm going to pick that up. They destroyed a few important locations for me. I want to go pick up Erengrad again. If I have no enemies nearby, I could probably do it. Oh, that's a pretty big one, though. I wouldn't have a lot of numbers to actually rebuild, which would be pretty dangerous for me to commit to because of that. All right, hold on. No, no, no. Click on them. There we go. They rejected my offer. Even Midland's very weak now. They like me, at least. Everyone else on the map, not so much. <laughs> but a lot of them are very weak. Okay, in turn. I wish there was just like a lot more non-combative stuff that you could do in a game. They never really add those via expansions, though, which is really unfortunate. I would rather a lot more mechanical stuff for diplomacy and economies. I mean, they made it way too simple. Like in Shogun 2, it's a lot of fun to kind of build your own economic force or even an Empire Total War. There we go. The tribes are now leaving me alone. I can rebuild up north and then get ready for whatever else I need down here. Because I need to rebuild for a little bit. We had a great war, but I need a little bit of time to rebuild. I've had a hell of a time with my mini wars. There's a dock over here that I really want. 500 more dark magic. That's very powerful. Okay. How's the corruption? Mm, it's okay. It could be better. I would rather have more corruption, but... Might as well have a little bit more income, too. I'm trying to raise up my income. It's way too low. It's kids love again. Hello, Dukedom of Coron. All right. Let's go check out technology real quick. Car and race would become more powerful. I kind of like that idea. Hmm. I'll make Vargas more powerful too. Only three turns for that one. Yeah, look at that. Income is slowly going up. I do want Fort Jacoba. I want to just make sure that I have every province that I want up here. I want to build up up north too. I don't know if the tribes will come after me because of that, but if I keep corruption very high, that will weaken them further too. I need Norden. Well, I'll just get Norden too. I just need a lot of money right now to rebuild every location that I can. Reichland, what are you trying? Oh, they got strong again. Look at them. Ranked number two. They were weak for a long time. Now they're back to being strong, and now they feel like they're daring. Daring, aren't they? The dwarves are going to be very tough, though. I'm going to have to do a lot of corruption. I'll have to slowly cycle out armies in and out. That's probably how it'll have to work. I don't know how else. 
Well, if I can take the human towns, then maybe it won't be so bad. That's true. I'll have to fight Talea, Border Princess. I think they're gone, but... Yeah, my armies are way too expensive right now for me to support adequately. Here we go. A new dock for me. Alright, what should I get rid of right now? I could get rid of all of these. I could get rid of my fluffies right now. My blood knights are not cheap. I mean, I just have so much right now. It's just really expensive. Even Graveguard would just be cheaper. I have one Graveguard here. Kind of a funny look. Yeah, I mean, look at my money go up now. Boom. Black Knights are pretty cheap. Yeah, that'll be a lot better for me. I just need cheaper things right now while I'm trying to rebuild. I had Kislev growing pretty well, but not anymore. I have Erengrad now growing. Trying to. But I think I might spend a few turns of my own just rebuilding because I mean I'll only be passing turns if there's a war going on a battle then I'll show that but the game isn't really complicated enough for me to really micromanage and show you every little bit of what I do on the actual map Ooh, they're coming after me now we're gonna have a big fight now they're gonna charge down in a little while probably never mind I guess I won't be doing that we'll be fighting what oh right I forgot about that ability yeah they're down here they might actually take any location they want they're dwarfs and they have a lot of firepower Ooh, that won't be easy you want me to defeat Fergal the Bloody? He'll give me a Dawnstone. Yeah, that'll be difficult. Heck yeah, I might even go after that location alone just to defeat them. Okay, when we're back, we'll go fight the dwarves over here for a Bloody Mountain War. That should be interesting. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like for Vlad. And as always, until then.